in terms of the uh, of, of the uh, vocational program, okay. what made you decide to put together uh, a tra training into the computer field? Well, it's like long. Well, it's the age of technology, and it's like think about this. If you go to McDonald's and you order a Big Mac and fries, they have to work a computer to even give you the bill. So consequently, without some kind of at least bare minimum basic comprehension of, you know, hardware, software, word processors, which have replaced the typewriter, the good old trusty typewriter, like I still love my old IBM Corrections Electric, but it's not as much as I do my word process, <laughs> of course, <laughs> yeah. because, you know, you can edit, you can print, you know, it's a whole lot different uh, technology in this day. So, basically, I had always known that this would be something that would really be able to help people that have no skills and they're the underserved community. That's the people that we primarily go after here. These are people. They might have lived in the housing projects. They might have been, you know, uh, uh, economically disadvantaged. They might have been a little slow learning. Those are the people that we thrive on and we're having such brilliant success. The director of our school, who I'm sure you're going to be speaking with shortly, is Gene Sullivan. He designed a technology. It's called OLT, Object Oriented Learning. It sounds strange, but you know what? You take a walk with us over to the Street Academy and you'll get a good first-hand view of what object-oriented learning is. This man has put something together where instead of starting with how many bits are in a byte, he started with, he gives you a piece of paper, and on that piece of paper is an object, a document. This document is something that you have to reproduce yourself as a student. And you know what? When you've never touched a computer in your life, and you have a blank piece of paper inside this monitor, and you start doing a couple little things, and he shows you how to do these things, and it turns all these beautiful colors, and then you learn the keystroke, and you print it out, and you've made this document on your very own, your very first day in class, it sticks and you take that technology on with you. I will leave that proportion of the technology, the explanations of it all, to him, because he's much more uh, tuned into how the, uh, the development of the technology and how to uh, the technology transfer and where he came up with the concept of this object-oriented learning. And then we have Richard Sadal, who is a veteran. He came here through the San Francisco Veterans Center uh, uh, for the, through the Employment Development Department. Uh, he's a Vietnam vet, and he came here to tighten up his skills uh, in all of the above, like Word, Access, Excel, PowerPoint for the presentation, and Publisher. He had a lot of skills prior that he hadn't been using since the upgrades to 95 and 98 and the newer technology. So it's an evolution. You know, the evolution, you buy a Pentium, you know, what's a big Pentium today, next week they're already talking about doing something twice as big. So you have to continue to grow with the technology. So he came here in that uh, particular uh, respect, but at the same time, he uh, has that electrical type of a mind so he does knows how to do upgrades and he understands about how to you know make the machines perform better so he's doing the upgrades and he understands html and he does web design and stuff like that he will have to you know you have to talk with him directly he's here too you'll be able to speak with him he can basically show you how that a part of the program and the training takes place well as a uh, a uh, Nonprofit without government funding, you must have found it difficult to get a hold of the computers to do these classes. <laughs> yes, this is. But you know something? There, there is God, and there is good people, and um, there is a wonderful corporation in San Francisco. They're called SSR Realty Advisors Inc. They're down on California Street in San Francisco. To 
date they've donated approximately, let's be modest, 100 computers to us. Well, we, let's go out and talk to some of your compadres now t and take a tour around the Sounds facility good. here. Sounds great. We're with Gene Sullivan now in the uh, computer vocational training area, I guess we yes, call it. Yes, we call it Computer Street Academy, and uh, that's exactly what we do, vocational training for people who are in need of getting back to work or getting into the new environment. And specifically, we're focusing on what's called now 21st century technology, Windows 98, Office 97, and all of the things where all of the new jobs are going to come up. Now, I understand you developed a, a new type of learning system to make, uh, to, to make this new technology a lot more accessible to people who aren't familiar with it. Right. What we're doing is I'm teaching in an object-oriented fashion. Now, object orientation came into, so I worked Silicon Valley for 30 years. Object orientation came into be for software development because we were having a lot of trouble developing stable software. When I looked at the way that courses were offered here in San Francisco, it seemed natural to me that object orientation would work best in this environment too, and it has. So I'm very pleased with it. How, how, how long did it take you to, uh, to develop this program? Oh, the object orientation, I was part of developing object-oriented programming. So as far as doing what we call the technology transfer to a learning system, that took about six months, and it, but it's still going on. We'll be doing more and more of it because we're going to use the same system to teach people how to program. In object-oriented fashion, we'll use object-oriented learning to, to teach the, uh, the programming classes. An excellent idea. Gene, thank you so much. Well, thank you. Tell me about who you are and what you do. My name is Jordan. My, Jordan Gabori. I'm a driver for RSN. I drive and I pick up donations from, from clothes to money under the mat and businesses that like to donate. I've also picked up uh, furniture from Pottery Barn. And I work and I load the warehouse and deliver, mostly just picking up and delivering. Keep you busy. Oh, yeah. All day. I'm with Richard Sadal now here at the Recovery Survival Network. Richard, what can you tell us about what you do here? Oh, right now I'm separating my skills with um, Word and Excel. I'm also designing a new website for RSN. So you're, you're into webs? Yes, I am. The Internet, mm -hmm. the like. Yeah. Is that uh, what you hope to be doing lo uh, long term, getting involved in the great internet explosion that's going on? Absolutely. Great. What initially brought you here to RSN? I was looking for an organization who would let me um, refresh my skills at my own level. Mm -hmm. And as a result, I've not only done that, but I'm also helping, helping them design a new website. All right. Richard, thanks so much. I'm Bob Hughes for Insight. Thank you.